The inventory system allows game makers to offer players a full suite of inventory items and the systems behind rewarding them and displaying them to the end user. The inventory flow itself has a customizable UI, so you're able to make it look and feel like the game theme that you have in mind. With Beamable's inventory system, Beamable will handle all the front end and the back end as well, allowing you to concentrate on the core game loops of your game, and in this case, how those core game loops would reward and spend the items. There's two major parts to the inventory system here, and we're going to take a look at them both. The first one is to create the inventory items themselves so that they can be rendered to the UI and used by the game player. The second part is to grant them to the actual user. You'll see that when we create these items, they're not yet shown up for a given player until we grant them, either using in-game logic or, for our case, we're just going to grant them directly to the player using the Beamable portal. Here we are inside of an empty project that has the Beamable SDK installed. I haven't administered any items, so we'll start it from scratch. The first thing we're going to do is bring out the inventory flow and see that it indeed renders but doesn't show any items yet. This will represent our starting point. I drag out the inventory flow and I play the scene. Here in the running scene, we do see something running, rendering, but it doesn't yet show any items for me as a player. Let's open up the Beamable Content Manager window from the toolbox. I'll position the inspector next to the content window so that we're able to see both of them together. Here in the Content Manager, we can see all the different content types that we could create. We're going to be creating the basic item type for our use here in the inventory. I'll go to item and right click and create an item content. I'm thinking of a game with weapons, so we'll have swords and knives in this simple demo. So I'll create a sword item and I'll create a knife item. Now, as I click on each one of those, we're going to see some additional details that can be set here in the inspector. One of them is to have an icon for each of them. And since we're dealing with a visual medium here and showing them in the inventory flow, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a couple of images that I have on my desktop, set them as sprites and uh, addressables. Now with those files set up in the project, I'm able to set the icons for each of our new items. I'll set the sword to be the sword. I'll set some additional permissions. And then I'll click the knife and set that up as well. OK, now that we've got our two items fully configured, we'll publish them to the back end. This way, others on your team can share the same inventory system that you've set up and continue programming and developing on top of it. And also publishing, of course, allows our end players, once this game goes live, to be able to use these items. So we'll publish. We're going to see the changes that are about to be made with the publish. That makes sense. We're going to be having two additions, the knife and the sword. OK, now we're going to go back to the game here and we're going to play the scene again. Again, we've just got the inventory flow set up in there. We see here in the running scene that it's rendering, but once again, we don't yet see the individual items rendered. Now that's because we've completed the first step, which is to create and administer the items and publish them, but we haven't yet granted them to myself as the player in this game. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now there's lots of ways that you could grant your items to your players in the game. Of course, you'd probably have some core part of the game loop that rewards items or allow an in-game shop to give them out. But for us, we're just going to use the backend portal to administer these items, granting them to myself as the player for our demo use. This is also very useful in general development. So I'm going to grab the admin flow, which I'll use temporarily here to get my database ID, my DB ID that I'm using as the player. The Using the tilde key here opens an in-game console. There's lots of different commands that can be used, but simply dbid here will give me access to the item itself. Now I'm going to open up the portal from the toolbox. I'll be able to search for myself in this game, 
and grant to myself those. The next time we run the scene, we'll be able to see those inventory items rewarded to me. So here we are in the portal. With the Players tab selected, I'll enter in the DBID. Here we see lots of details about myself as this in-game player. There's lots of debugging and development that we could do here. Simply, I'm going to come down to Inventory and Add Item. Now, because we've used the client-side tooling inside Unity to create these two items and publish them, we now see them back here. So I'm just going to give myself one item, one knife item, and one sword item. Now I've given myself one knife item and one sword item. That's it. I'm going to pop back into the game and play the scene. Now in the running scene, we see the realized inventory. We've completed both creating these items as well as granting them to myself as the player. That shows the demo complete for the inventory flow. Thanks.